Welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a policies and how to assign the policies to the users. Let's discuss what is a policy. A policy is the policy document and its associated policy setting documents with it. Policies can control many users and administrative functions. An administrator can enforce IBM Lotus Domino policies of various types and apply them to various group of, grouping of users. Policies can apply to various sets of users. They can apply to an entire organization or a particular OU or a group of users or even a single user. Multiple policies can apply to the same user and these can contain a contra directory value for the same setting. A precedent system determines which settings a user gets. Policy document each policy document contains the pointers to selected setting documents. This combination of policy document and its setting documents constitutes one policy. You can create policy documents in Domino directory to distribute standard settings and configuration across groups, departments or entire organization. So we have a different types of policy setting documents. Activities, archiving, desktop, mail, registration, Security, Setup, Lotus Traveler, Roaming, Symphony. Policy Types Policies can be either organization or explicitly. Organization meaning it's applied to an organization or organization unit. Explicitly means it applies to a specific user and may include user from different OUs. This is a difference in between the organization policy and the explicitly policy. If you talk about this type of setting documents, activities, this activities setting document specifies a user activities on server and the port in which server is assigned. Archive setting documents specifies what documents are attachment to archive from a mail files and where to place the archive. Server to server archiving can archive all mails to a central server. So complete archiving related information you can set up under the archiving setting document. Desktop specifies numerous types of settings to implement on ongoing basis. For example, a custom corporate welcome page, a smart upgrade options, a default replication schedule, book, bookmark management and update and user preferences. You can set up those settings under desktop. The mail setting document specify the settings that control end user field value and modification registration specify default settings on the user registration dialog box security specifies controls and lotus nodes and internet passwords as well as the execution control list which is called ecl then setup policy specify numerous types of setting implemented during the initial lotus nodes client setup to populate the user's location document and includes the following like desktop preferences, user preferences, internet browser and proxy settings. These are the things you can set up under setup policy. Lotus Traveler, it defines the preferences by synchronizing Lotus Domino users mail database data including mail, calendar, to do contacts and so on so with their mobile device or mobile hand handheld devices. Roaming policy configures a file server roaming for registered nodes standard configuration users. Symphony defines whether or not users can use the IBM Lotus Symphony editors and designate which files and templates can be used. So these are all the settings where you can control the users by creating and assigning to the group of users or individual users. Policy precedence rules in general a policy that is more specific to given user takes a precedence over a more general policy. For example, settings in an explicit policy take a precedence over the corresponding setting in an organization policy. An administrator can change the precedence scheme by selecting inherit or enforce. You can see this. Inherit or enforce. These settings but for individual settings. An administrator can also make the entire policy an exception policy meaning that its settings will take precedence over corresponding settings in all ancestor policies. So if you see the figure, this is where you can set up the change. 
static and dynamic policy settings static policy is setting during the user registration time or setting up the during workstation setup time dynamic policy it will set up when user logs into the server automatically now i'll show you how to register the how to create the policy document open your domino administrator client go to the configuration tab in the tools pan click on the policies now click on a create you have options to create a new policy click on ok it will open the policy window for the policy name you type which policy you want to create here for example i am creating my first policy and what type of policy you want to create you have two types explicit policy and organization policy explicit policy will be always assigned to individual users okay so on the policy type now we going to create this organizational policy select organizational these are the policy setting documents you have to decide what setting documents you creating for this particular policy so if you see the option here when you selected organization policy you have a star under your policy name for example if you select explicit policy see you are losing the star there select the organization policy the star means this policy will be applied to all the people all the users in your server so these are the setting documents you have to select it which setting documents you want to apply to the users for example registration policy click on the new create a new setting documents give a name here for example red so what is a registration server you want to be select for all the users by default this is a registration server choose the password quality the password will be zero if you remember that we always putting the scale password scale to zero so you can set up those things here set the internet password okay then go to the mail what is the mail system lotus notes and what is the mail server and mail template is this choose mail for create mail file now and what is the internet domain and what is the internet address first name and last name and what is internet separator for is a dot create mail replica on particular server or if you have any other servers you can select here for example in this server you want to create a replica create a mail replica in the background so you can go through all these settings whatever the settings you want to apply for the all the users at the time of registration select all the settings here click on save and close so now you created a registration setting document select this this is a document which you created click on this now if you save and close this policy will be applied to all the users who ever registered on your server by default by automatically if you want to see those things you can come under the policies you can see the policy settings see this is a my organization policy my policy type is my organization policy and I have created a see you can see this is a policy and I have created a registration setting documents so this is how you can see the policy this policy you don't need to apply manually if you create organization policy this policy will be applied automatically all the users at the time of registration okay or when the users will log on to the server first time the policy will be applied to the user now i will show you how to create the explicit policy and apply to the users same the process again under policy click on create say okay so now i am going to create second policy this time i am selecting explicit for example i am creating a mail setting documents enter the name of this mail setting okay then you set up the whatever 
spell check before sending a mail warning blank message subjects always should det uh, details in received mail messages all the settings whatever you want you can check up everything and save and close go to mails this is your mail setting documents then save and close this is your explicit policy this is your explicit policy so how do you assign the explicit policy please remember here organization policy no need to apply manually it will be applied automatically to all the users when they authenticating to, when they authenticate with the server but explicit policy you have to assign manually to the group of users or a single user i'll show you how to assign the explicit policy go to the peoples and groups tab select your peoples view select any user you have option two different types of ways where you can assign the policy one thing is right click on the person say assign policy okay so you have option to select the explicit policy this is your explicit policy you can assign it okay or you can assign the policy under tools tab you have option called assign the same this is the same process but only thing is two different options you have to assign the policy this is how you assign the explicit policy to the users and if you want to assign the explicit policy to the groups go to the groups select the particular group group for example i created all the groups here you can say assign policy here this is the way how you assign the policies to the groups so here we covered how to create and assign the explicit policy how to create the organization policy